Hello friends, this video on our environment part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now look at the levels of consumers. We have spoken about many different types of consumers, right? So let us look at their levels. So let us look at the various levels of consumers. So here we are going to see who eats whom. So like till now we have spoken about the producers who produce things and the consumers and in consumers also we have so many different consumers we have herbivores we have carnivores we have omnivores so let us look at the level of each of these consumers so we will start with the producer right that is the one who produces food so in the producer we have the green plants who perform photosynthesis and provides us with food then comes the primary consumers. Who are the primary consumers? Those who directly feed on these green plants, that is the herbivores. So organisms which feed on producers. So the herbivores are the primary consumers, right? So here the terms primary consumer, instead of herbivore, many people will refer it as primary consumer. That means the consumer who primarily depend on plants. So in this, we can consider the example of a grasshopper because a grasshopper feed on plants. The next is a secondary consumer. That means the consumer or the organism which feed on the primary consumer. So organisms which feed on primary consumer. So these are carnivores because carnivores will feed on the herbivores. So here we can take the example of frog. So the frog feeds on this grasshopper. So the frog becomes a secondary consumer. Then comes the tertiary consumer. So you see the level is increasing. So tertiary consumer, those which feed on the secondary consumer, right? So these are also carnivores because they feed, what are carnivores? Carnivores is a very general word. It means any organism which feed on other organism. So whether the frog who is eating a grasshopper or whether it is a snake who is eating the frog. So both of them are carnivores because both of them are eating other animals. So, so be it the frog eating the grasshopper or the snake eating the frog. Just that the level of consumer is more. So a frog is, a t both are carnivores but a frog is a secondary consumer whereas a snake is a tertiary consumer. Then we can even have quaternary consumer, that means something who is feeding upon the tertiary consumer. For example, so that, that organism is also going to be a carnivore. For example, here, this bird called hawk, you would have heard about it, right? It's a very big bird and it generally feeds on other animals. So if you see all these three, frog, snake, as well as the hawk, they are all carnivores. But since they feed on different animals, so their levels are different because if, if the uh, the hawk would have been feeding on an animal who is directly dependent on plants so that is if the hawk would have been eating an animal who is a herbivore in that case the hawk would have been the secondary consumer but that is not the case now as the level increases so the level also increases here so with the increasing level it comes with primary consumer then secondary then tertiary and then quaternary consumer now what happens to this hawk who will eat this hawk now once this hawk dies who will decompose it the decomposers right so the, so the entire story starts with the producers who produces food then comes a wide variety of consumers who will actually consume this food either directly from the producers or indirectly from the producers. And then comes the decomposers who will decompose the dead bodies of all the producers and the consumers. And these producers, consumers and decomposers will together form the biotic component of an ecosystem. Now you might ask that we have spoken about the entire level. We saw the herbivores there as primary consumers. We saw the carnivores there as secondary, tertiary and quaternary consumer. What about the omnivores? Where are the omnivores? Now see, omnivores are those who feed on both plants as well as animals. So now if we talk about an omnivore who is feeding only on plants, for example, as I told, there are certain human beings who are vegetarian. They feed only on plants. They do not, I mean, they, they do not eat animals. So if we are talking about those kind of omnivores who feed only on plants, then we can say that they are primary consumers. 
but if we are talking about omnivores who are feeding on an animal who is directly depending on plants for example if we talk about a human being who feeds on grasshopper so we say that that omnivore falls under the category of secondary consumer again if a scenario comes where we say that a human being is feeding on a frog so that means he is a tertiary consumer so depending upon what an omnivore is eating we will decide whether it is a primary consumer secondary consumer or a tertiary consumer right so they can be primary consumers if they are feeding only on plants they can be secondary or tertiary consumers depending on which level consumers are they feeding upon right okay so i hope this concept is clear about the consumers so broadly three types under the biotic components producers consumers and decomposers under consumers we have different types of consumers they are herbivores carnivores omnivores and parasites so they are the types of consumers and what are these primary consumers secondary consumer tertiary consumers these are the different levels of consumers depending upon on which organism they feed upon right so i hope i have been able to explain you the concept of the levels in a consumer because this is really going to help you when we talk about or when we learn try to learn food chain so this is going to be really helpful clear okay so let us now talk about thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again